नमस्कार हूँ आदर्श वेलकम टू आदर्श एजुकेशन सोसायटी स्टैंडर्ड टेन्थ सब्जेक्ट साइंस चैप्टर थर्ड मेटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल्स सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस द मेटल्स व्हाट हैपन्स व्हेन मेटल्स रिएक्ट विद ऑक्सीजन और एयर पर टुडे वी विल सी व्हाट हैपन्स व्हेन मेटल्स रिएक्ट्स विद द वाटर See, collect some of the samples of metals like sodium, calcium, magnesium, iron, copper. So, like this way, you have to collect some of the samples, and then what you have to do? Put small pieces of the samples separately in the beakers, half filled with cold water. See, half filled with cold water, you have to take. So here, so activity is what you have to do: take cold water, half filled with the beaker. And add small pieces of metals, and you have to test with this. Okay, and uh, which metals react with the cold water? Then you have to say that, or you have to observe that which metals are reacted with the cold water. Then arrange them in the increasing order of their react. Okay, this is the activity you have to do. Then, did any metal produce fire on the water? See, when you get these metals on this. Did any metal produce the fire? Yes, you know that sodium and potassium. They are highly react with the water and produces fire, and then force us. Okay, then put the metal. Say, did any metal start floating water after some time? Yes. So calcium, magnesium. These are the metals. After the reaction, they will uh, starts to float on the water. See now, dear students. Next one, what you have to do? Put the metals that did not react with the cold water in the beakers, half filled with the hot water. Then you have to move with the hot water. The same procedure: take beaker and half filled, filled with the hot water. So you will see that your magnesium reacts with the hot water. Okay. Then one more: the four the metals that did not react with hot water. As well as cold water, then you have to observe with the steam. So which metals they will react with the steam? This you have to find out. So okay, which metals did not react with the even the steam also? So like this way, you have to find out which metals those two metals did not react with the cold water and the hot water. Then you have to test with the steam. So you know that copper, aluminium, zinc, these are all going to react with. The steam, and then you have to find out which metals do not react with the steam also. So you know that copper, gold, silver, they will not react with the steam. So like this way, you have to find out the metals with the water. What else you have to take three types: one is hot water and cold water, and even with the steam. So you have to find like this. So now after doing for observation, after doing this all. We we'll see that whenever metals react with water, see when metals react with water and produce metal oxide and also liberates hydrogen gas. What gas will be releasing? Hydrogen gas will be releasing, and this metal oxide are soluble in the water. These metal oxides are again soluble in water, and then produces metal hydroxide. And further, what will be producing metal? Hydroxide will be producing. Okay. Now, here one more point you have to note is that, but all the metals do not react with the water. See, dear students, all the metals will not react with the water. Only some of the metals react with water and produces metal oxide and as soon as liberates the hydrogen gas. Okay. Then you see these metal oxides. Dissolve with the waters, then produces metal hydroxides. Okay. Now next point is metals like potassium and sodium. See, look here. Potassium and as well as sodium reacts with the water. See, this is in the solid form and reacts with the water. So metals like sodium, sodium means Na, and potassium K. This reacts with the water. And produces what will be producing potassium reacts with water. Potassium hydroxide producing 
and sodium reactive water, sodium hydroxide, that is in the aqueous form, means in the water. Okay, and also gives hydrogen gas, and as soon as heat energy is produced, we are students here heat energy. Why? Because you know, here this hydrogen gas, uh, what you are saying, burns with the fire, you are noticing. When these two, sodium and potassium will be there, their hydrogen gas will be immediately catches fire. And also heat energy, because this is one is uh, exothermic reaction. So here you will see that the reaction is exothermic. Okay, now next one. Calcium, the reaction of the calcium with water. See, see, calcium with water, you see, and produces calcium hydroxide produces. What will be that? Calcium hydroxide. See, calcium is a solid, water liquid, and calcium on aqueous, aqueous forms and releases hydrogen gas. But here you will not notice the fire. The heat evolved is why? Because the heat evolved is they are not sufficient for the hydrogen to catch us the fire. Okay, so that is why here you will not see what we have seen the sodium and potassium catches hydrogen gas, oh, that is catches fire, but here calcium, you will not see the fire here. Hydrogen will not go for the fire. Now see the next reaction is magnesium does not react with cold water, see. Dear students, magnesium does not react with the cold water, it reacts with the hot water. See, magnesium is the metal, it does not react with the cold water, but it reacts with the hot water to form magnesium hydroxide and as well as hydrogen gas will be producing. Okay students, see, try to understand now, magnesium is also a metal that it do not react with the cold water but it reacts with the hot water to form magnesium hydroxide and also produces hydrogen gas. And it also starts floating. See, after the reaction, it also starts floating due to the bubbles of hydrogen gas. See, when the hydrogen gas liberated, you know, that bubbles will be formed. So that is why it is floating and sticking to its surface. So, where they are sticking, to the surface. Okay, now the next one is metals like aluminium, metals like aluminium and iron. See, the iron, aluminium and iron, you see, aluminium is Al and iron is Fe. Metals like the aluminium and iron react with the water. So they react with the water, what will be produced? See, metals like aluminium and I, which one? Iron, zinc. Do not react with either with cold water and hot water. See, metals like aluminum, iron, zinc, this, this are all do not react with the cold water as well as hot water, but they react with the steam. But they react with the steam. That's why you have taken here gases, H2O, here they are with liquid, liquid, they have done. They have done gaseous. So means that is a steam. And produces aluminium oxide and also produces hydrogen gas. See, okay. So now you see that aluminium reacts with water and produces aluminium oxide and uh, liberates hydrogen gas. Okay, then when iron also reacts with water, means here not water, steam, you are saying. This aluminium reacts with the steam and iron also reacts with the steam. <coughs> and produces aluminium oxide and as well as iron oxide and liberating the hydrogen gas. Okay, so these are the results you are observing. And you see that here, see this, so this is the action of the steam on the metals. So try to understand the diagram here. See this one is the burnt burner or you can say the burner this one. And here what is that, you know that this is the H2 here, glass wool soaked in the water. Here, what will be that? Glass wool will be there, that is soaked in the water. Okay, then why? Because when you heat it here, the steam will be producing. See, the glass wool soaked in the water, this one, and when you heat it here, that will produce a steam. And here, metal piece will be there, metal piece. Then this steam reacts with the water. 
So steam reacts with the water. You know that hydrogen gas will be introducing here, and this hydrogen gas here, water will be there, and that will be rises upwards. So here it is connected. What hydrogen gas? So what are the ideas now? So what is the next year when you heated this glass wood soaked in the water? So this will be producing the steam, and this steam reacts with here metal samples or metal pieces will be there when we are taken here. So that reacts with this. Okay, then hydrogen gas will be liberated pass through the delivery tube. This is the delivery tube we are saying. So this passes through that here. This is you know that downward displacement you are saying you know is uh, what the test tube we are inverting you know that is we are saying downward displacement of water. So here it will be hydrogen gas will be collected. So in this way hydrogen gas is collected. Okay, this way the visual metals react with the steel. Okay, now the next one metals such as lead. Copper and silver and gold. So metals like silver, copper, gold, they do not react with the water at all. So they will not do any reaction with the water. Totally water. Either it may be cold water or it may be hot water or it may be steam. So they they what you are saying? They do not show any reaction with this. Okay. So these are the things. When metals, what happens when metal reacts with water? So, dear students, uh, now we will see some of the just recap of this. So, you know that when magnesium reacts with the water, see magnesium reacts with the water, Mg plus two H two. So, what you have to write the reaction? Magnesium means Mg and water. Okay, two H two O. Magnesium hydroxide we are producing. And also here, hydrogen gas, H two gas, will be producing. Okay. So then uh, you know that now uh, some of the reactions. See, we are arranging the sodium, potassium, and calcium metals in the increasing order of their reactivity with the water. See, dear students. See, arrange the sodium, potassium, and calcium metals. Sodium, potassium, and calcium metals. In the increasing order of their reactivity with waters, so how we can write calcium is less the calcium than sodium and uh, potassium. So in like this way we can write. So how we can write in the reactivity? You see, calcium, then sodium, then we can write potassium. So like this way. So in this way you can write calcium, here sodium, and then will be potassium is more reactive than this. Okay. So one more question: Write the decreasing order of the reactivity metals with the water. Decreasing order, what you write? In the decreasing order, you write potassium is more than sodium, then calcium, then magnesium, then aluminium, then zinc, and iron. See in this way you can write. So what you can write in this way: sodium and also calcium and magnesium. Okay, then aluminium. See aluminium. Then will be zinc. So aluminium then zinc. So write this way. You can write like this: say potassium is. Then sodium, then calcium, then magnesium. Okay, then aluminium. So then it will be what will be the zinc will be there, and then uh, will be iron. So and then will be iron. So like this way, this is in the decreasing order of the reactivity of metals with the water. Okay, so let's so now. We have completed the when what happens when metals react with the water. So next we will discuss what happens when metals react with the acids. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you for joining us.